physical labor. Run progression, this is our bread and butter. These are things that we do every single day, and it's a chance for me to talk about different fronts and different gaps that we have. In a three, four, like it or not, the backside, you're gonna be a two gap player. We got eight points that we go. Stance and starts again, going off the bat. Now this was a front here, this wasn't our under front, this was what we call match, where our play side backers got C gap. Still working backside square shoulders, one hot feet, one, two pops a piece. This is a chance for me to check distance, check lead steps, everything that we're doing. Little bitty damn thing. That's where you win or lose. Little bitty things. Staying right there, no fault steps. Making sure, now this, is, this drill is a little elongated, but this is stuff that I try and do seven to eight minutes every single practice because I can put in different things that I'm doing. And we're going to kind of skip through some of it. And we're going to go both ways on it. Still reading backs now. Everything's happening with back. That's our key right there. Here we go. 80 point neck of the center. All right, now look, this is an under front. And what I mean, we're in eagle. Is we basically got a nine, a five, a shade, a three, and we got a loose five. Play side back on our wheels is we're working to inside the three technique. Now, if we got two backs, we're getting ice over here, we got to go blow the A gap up. But we're working for this, and then we're going to replace whatever happens. Little bitty things, little bitty things, aiming points, where you go. That's the difference of, of making 15 tackles or making three. Now, I'm going to crawl him a little bit because now he's getting outside where we want to go. He turned himself into a three technique. We don't want that. We've got to be inside there. We got to let the three do his job. That's where we got to be. Okay, now we're just working shoulders, all we're doing. Shoulders turn. Now I put cones out here because we're going to sprint through the cone because if I'm thinking I got to sprint through that cone and I take a great step and great angles because his shoulders turn, my shoulders turn. That enables me to beat the center. Right there in the Now we, you know, we're replacers and we're fitters. That's the reason we can play our five techniques tight where they don't know what we are because we're going to replace this side. If he loses contain, we're going to go on and take it. But we've got to get back here to make something happen. Shoulders turn. Now, during this deal, I'm telling them what's coming. I want them to have confidence in what they're doing. Then you're going to see at the end of this tape where we mix it up. Same deal. Now we're going to the other side. I'm telling them, hey, let's go on this way. But I still want them off the back. Shoulders turn. I turn. Now, this is a replacer. I'm the fitter. I'm always going to fit inside out on the football. I never can be passed. You can kind of think about a sprint out with a quarterback. You never want your guy scraping to be past the quarterback. We're inside out. Inside out. And that's where those cones really help you on that deal. And it all starts with your step. Okay. Now we're going to come back in and we're going to put our tackles in there. I don't like doing guards. I, you know, I played this position. I understand that, you know, it's an easy way to cheat if you put your guard and see them pull. I want these guys to see the back and then see somebody pull. And you're going to see I put cones in here. That's our aiming point front side to get there because I never want a guy to read it here and stick because how many times do you see that ball here get there and then it turns into a foot race? We don't want, we don't want foot races. We want to make tackles right in here. You're going to see it. Boom, nice and tight. I want to suck all the air out of this. Now, how we coach this backside is this. All right, I'm telling this guy what shoulder to go to. This is a field block for us. If I feel like he's over the top of me, then I'm going to lock him out inside. Or if he's too far on the top, I'm going to dip him and go make a play. Here's the front side making the play right there. We, and I'll show you a play after a while that we're going to spill that. But whatever happens, we're tight. If we're boxing it here, we probably got to spill it. If we got our outside backer spilled it, he takes through two of them, then we ought to make the play. If he gets one of them, guy comes, we're still going to be underneath because we're going to make the safety right. You're going to see backside how we do these things. Right there. I don't want that, though. I want square shoulders, lock it, 
That right there creates a running lane. Right there. You gotta lock his ass out, and then we gotta be square. Square up. Square your shoulders up. And we're feeling that block right there. Okay, now going the other way. Now, this isn't tight enough. I don't want it because now, let's say we got a box, and that safety's thinking this thing's gonna hit outside, outside back or box it, next guy kicks us, well, there's a gap, we're playing inside with that guy's nice lock out by Hig, right there, but we gotta be nice and tight. You'll hear me talk about be tight as the tights, sucking all the air out of things. Suck it out, suck it out, still a little too wide, I want it tight, tight in there. And this is why you do these drills. I mean, you come back, that's, that's nice, right there. Nice and tight, tight. Good lock out there. If there's ever any question backside where you're supposed to be, I want you underneath. We got plenty of guys out here to make the plug. We don't want that ball to hit back in there. Nice and tight, good lock out there. Nice and tight. Misdirection, people talk about, what well, y'all read the misdirection. Well, shit, we, we work on it every day. It's seeing it. I mean, it just doesn't happen by osmosis. You gotta work on it. Now we're working the block here where he's down flat. Now I'm gonna wipe this. I'm never gonna rip this. I'm never gonna swim this. I'm wiping. We got the front side being tight. Here comes the back side. And you're gonna watch the back side. We never fit past the ball. We wanna be right there. So if we get knocked out, we're not tight enough. We want the other guy coming through. We want to wipe that. Good wipe right there. We're going to wipe it across. Everybody's got to fit. Everything we're doing is we're building a wall. That's too wide, too much space, too much space. That's what I'm telling you right there. Here we go. Right there. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And these are little bit things you can look at. That's too wide. You go back to the scrimmage and, and, and you wonder why that play hit. Well, we weren't good, fun, good enough fundamentally to stop that. Good white backside, right there. That's where I want to fit. We're going to get to our zone read stuff here in just a minute. Okay, here we go. Now we're zone read. All right? We cross key a lot of stuff here. Okay? We, like I said, we're putting guys on islands. You know, if we're coming this way off a slant to our closed side, and we get zoned, we're going to still put them on an island. We're going to put this guy on an island if we're cross him. But we got to convince him that we're coming neck of the center to get the tackle to go steep. He's trying to, I got to convince him that he's got to beat me to that point. Now, we cross key, here's what we're doing. We're reading here, and we're reading here. Right there, still nice and tight, just like this direction. Mirroring the zone backside. Now, this is a front for us that we're telling the nose he's going to win the backside. That means we've got to be outside the zone, but we're still mirroring the zone. So if I get zoned my way, I know the nose is going to be there. He's probably going to end up there. i got to be outside the zone. But we're still nice and tight on the other side. Right there. That's good tightness right there. Good. We're outside the zone. Nice and tight. Because when, he's, when we get him start doing this, we have calls where we both read the back. We don't cross key. Then we, we can take a run through and go hit him in the mouth in the backfield. But I'm just telling you, to beat the zone, you've got to put linemen on islands. You can't just let them come out and be ass on ass. Now, same drill, same thing we're talking about. Now shoulders turn. That takes me outside to the cone, still doing my cross key. I have no idea of those shoulders turns because I'm looking right here. Building in your fundamentals of what your keys are. Right there. Now we're doing the deal where we're telling the nose, hey, you win the front side. So now I want to be inside the zone unless his shoulders turn. Now I'm inside. I mean, we've had deals this year where we took the play side backer, because especially getting a lot of zone read up in here, where the play side backer go hit it here and the nose would be there. Cross key in here. Nice and tight. Get in there tight. Suck all the air out of it. Good. Right there. That's what we want. Mirror in the zone. 
And it, build, it helps you build all your fronts and everything you're doing by being on a cross key and having, if you got twist in here, whatever. Like I said, we do a ton of this stuff. All right, I'm gonna get to, uh, basically, it's, they know what's coming on this drill. And then we're gonna go over here and now we're mixing it up. They have no idea what's coming. Now I like putting these dummies right here to get a little contact on it, get our, you know, kind of whiz a little bit. Shoulders turn, we're gone. Shoulders turn, we're gone. Going to the company. Inside run, right there. He's a little late. And if you want to know if guys are cheating on you and watching linemen, then you'll know with these drills. You'll know. You'll find out quick if he's not looking at that back. Like I said, no idea what's coming. This is kind of like playing in the game here. Here we go. Now we're misdirection. Now this is a field block. Here we go. Nice and tight. Hitting it. Feeling them inside. Coming over the top. Fitting right there. And these are things like I, I'm going to keep saying that you've got to do every damn day if you're going to be a great lineman. Now, I got lost a little bit. Got lost a little bit. Saw it correct himself. We can make a three-step mistake and still come out of it. You can't go three and a half. Right there, good by the backside. That's everybody doing it right there.